You are watching a special edition. We're on location today. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what's new in cosmetic dentistry? We searched nationwide for the hottest cosmetic dentist. We landed right here at the Atlanta Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. Uh, if you are not happy with your smile, my advice, stick around for the latest edition of the Wellness Hour. The Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. Dr. King. Hey, Randy, how are you? Good, great place. Now, Thank this you. Welcome. is a beautiful place. Thank you so much. Were you in on the design here? I was, actually. We wanted to create an atmosphere that was more like a living room where people would just feel welcome coming. Well, that's what it looks like. But please come on in. So this is the uh, waiting room. This is our waiting room, and we wanted to create an atmosphere where it just felt like your living room, where you were just comfortable from the moment that you walked in the door. Okay, now this obviously doesn't look like a typical dental office. True. And I told people at the top of the show, I said, this is the busiest dental office as far as cosmetic goes, probably in the world. Probably I mean, is that, so. is that fair to say? That's fair to I say. I mean, people fly from all over the country to see you. We're very fortunate to be able to see so many patients and, and just change so many people's lives with beautiful smiles. So what all did they do to your smile? Oh gosh. They did a lot. I've had lasers and whitening. They've filed, polished, bonded. They've replaced my silver fillings with white porcelain inlays, which are great, because when you smile, you don't want to look like you just bit a bullet. Yeah. So <laughs> they've, they've pretty much made my smile what it is now. Now, our story today is about the importance of a smile and what could be done. How important do you think a smile is? You're an image consultant. Um, your smile tends to be the gateway to your personality. It's kind of the first thing that people notice besides your eyes. So for me, being an image consultant, it, you're not going to hire me if my smile is a little jacked up. It's okay. just not going to work out. Do you see attractive people oftentimes and you look and the only thing missing is their smile? Sure, sure. And why do you think, I mean, do you think it's that a lot of people don't realize the importance of a smile? Um, I, I don't think so. It's either that or they just don't really know what's out there for them to improve their smile so they don't make those opportunities available to themselves because they really don't know okay. what can be done. You've also been in pageants? Is I that have. Tell us about that. Well, um, that's actually what brought me here is um, I won a pageant and this was a part of my prize package. Yay for me. All right. <laughs> so, um, and I've been competing ever since, but um, that's how I originally got introduced to it. Talk about, I mean, mention your smile, give you compliments about your smile. Yeah, and it's funny because I didn't know that it was not good to begin with. I always thought it was, you know, passable until I actually got work done on my teeth and then it was the first thing that people noticed. Wow, your teeth look good. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> okay, final message here. Somebody watching this at home, yes. they're not happy with their smile. And for whatever reason, they're afraid to go to the dentist, they have fears, whatever, but they're not happy with their smile. What do you say to them? I tell them that it, it can be life changing. Um, it's such a huge self-esteem boost and self-confidence builder to have a great smile. And um, I would tell them to just take that step out on faith, come on over and, and, and get some work done because it really will do more than just change your smile. It will okay, change let, your life. Let's see that smile of yours. We'll end there. <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. When patients come in, we'll meet them when in the consult rooms. And this is where we go over their treatment plans with privacy. And you'll notice there are a lot of photos. A lot of celebrity over. photos all over the wall. There are. But there are a lot of other patients that, um, that just have gotten great results. How did you become the go-to place for a great natural looking you smile? Know, years I wonder ago, that. We just wanted to create a place where artistry and quality dentistry come together. And this is just what we do. We create beautiful smiles. How much is art and how much is science? That is an excellent question. And it's really, um, it's probably half and half. You know, the, the clinical part is so important, but the artistic part is so important as far as making things look real and natural. And our goal is to make it look like you haven't even had dentistry done, that you were just born with a beautiful and healthy and natural looking Now, smile. knowing I was going to come here, I look around and I see these big phony veneers. I feel like I could spot them 20 yards away. Right. So that's in the hands of the dentist? That is. The dentist and the ceramist. It's very important to have a okay. master ceramist that can also create the artist. Is that a fear you hear from patients? They don't want All that big... All the time. All the time people are afraid. So that can be avoided. It can be avoided. Okay. So the, who meets in here, by the way? This is like a patient coordinator? What the is patients it? will come in with their, their dental concierge, which is a treatment coordinator that really 
walks them through the entire process from the first visit when they come in as a new patient until they're completely done with their smile design. This is one of our other consult rooms and you'll also notice that we have um, articles where we were featured in the Wall Street Journal and Time Magazine as well as many other um, national magazines. Do you think the perception is uh, that everyone is doing, all dentists are doing cosmetic dentistry the same way? I think that is the perception and the thing with the cosmetic dentistry is because it's an art it's very technique sensitive in that it's not something that you can just dabble in. It's something that you really have to devote a lot of time in order to be really good at. I thought it was too fancy for me. I thought it was going to just, it was a dream. It was really just like a dream. I'm looking at the, the faces and the smiles on the billboard and I'm thinking, I want that, but I don't know if I can have that. I smiled um, like this so that you wouldn't see my teeth. Um, I would smile away. Uh, I was in sales for 33 years and very face front with a lot of people speaking and I just I never did this. I smile. <laughs> I've always been a very happy, fun person. Um, and now I can just smile. How it's changed my life is that I have recently lost 28 pounds. I've started to care about me because I feel that I got pretty. I think after my interview with Julie and she didn't push me into something I didn't want to do. Um, they are very understanding. She was working out any kind of plans that we could financially to make it work. Um, the girls were just friendly and it was a very welcoming atmosphere and I just felt, I can do this. I can be here. Do people mention your teeth? People mention my teeth all the time. All of my friends, all of my friends have, look at you. They just, you know, they look back and sit back and say, you're smiling so much, and um, I had my hair straightened. I did everything to go with my teeth, instead of doing everything in, uh, before to take away from my teeth. What I would say to anyone is, take the money that you would be buying shoes or a pocketbook with, and start to save it, and go take care of yourself, and make yourself happy, and be who you're supposed to be before, you know, 10 and 15 years goes by. The experience here is something that, first of all, they've all become my friends. It's part of a very large family. Um, they are extremely supportive of every, every time I came in. It's probably one of the best things, um, and I will say it is the best thing that I have ever done for myself because I am self-confident and I, uh, I carry myself in a whole different manner and um, I'm worth it. Designs for Health is the nutritional supplement brand of choice, exclusively recommended by healthcare professionals. As a physician, I insist on the science-first approach of Designs for Health. They have synergistic formulations with optimum quantities of therapeutic nutrients. Designs for Health the leader in professional brand nutritional supplements. There's a new secret to looking younger. An advancement so profound, it took a team of scientists years to create. A time machine called Zoom. Getting Zoomed is the fastest way to erase years from your looks. Zoom is the most advanced teeth whitening ever. Only your dentist has it. Nothing works like it. Zoom Gel gently penetrates the submicron pores of tooth enamel. The patented Zoom Light super activates the gel through a unique photofenton reaction, breaking down the stain's double bonds. In just 45 minutes, years of discoloration disappear, transforming your smile to wow. To find a Zoom dentist near you, go to zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895. For your whitest, most confident, most irresistible smile, get Zoomed today. Make your appointment at zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895 today and discover the wow of Zoom. You're watching a special edition of the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what's new in cosmetic dentistry? With us we have Dr. Deborah King. She is the founder of Atlanta Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. 
Uh, Dr. King, thank you for inviting us uh, to your office here. It's my pleasure. Big, thank you for being here. Big, beautiful place here. Thank you. Were you involved in the design? I was. Now, this is one of the busiest offices uh, anywhere, just about, for cosmetic dentistry. Is that fair to say? Well, Randy, I don't know. I know a lot of people do say that about us, but we just try to focus on taking care of patients and giving them beautiful smiles. Okay, now this room we're in right now, so if people are just tuning in, uh, this is your what, reception area? This is where people come in. We don't like to call it a waiting room, but this is the, our reception area, and we designed it to be more like a, a living room, so people would feel at home here. Okay, cosmetic dentistry, what's changed in the last uh, 20 years in the world oh, of cosmetics? There have been so many changes over the last 20 years, just mostly in the the results that we can get because we can create beautiful smiles that look natural and invisible and you can't even tell that you've had dentistry done. Now I told you, uh, we talked on the telephone, I said anticipating this interview I feel like I could spot veneers 10 yards away, 20 yards away. Mm -hmm. You say that's in the hands of the dentist. So not all dentists are doing the same way. Th there is, that, are, is that true? That is true and there are many aspects to get the best result. Not only is it the um, the skill of the dentist, but also the skill of the master ceramist, and they have to work very closely. The ceramist makes the teeth. The ceramist makes the porcelain for the teeth, and they have to work very closely together in order to get the best result. Now, all of your employees seems to have seem to have world class smiles. Well, it is are one you, of our we, prerequisites. Oh, is it? Is that <laughs> yes, right? absolutely. We have Lock to practice what we preach. And you have great teeth. Thank you. Now, before we get into the specifics, the process of veneers. Your training. I guess in dental school they don't uh, teach you a lot about cosmetic That's correct. They, they really teach very little about cosmetic dentistry in our dental schools. They're mostly focused on the basics. So all the, um, the education with cosmetic dentistry is done after dental school. And because there's so many aspects to dentistry, it's important for a dentist to decide what are they passionate about? What type of dentistry do they want to really be good at? And then have follow the, cos the continuing education in those areas. So now you were on the national show Extreme Makeover. I was. How did they pick you, by the way? By my credentials. Um, they were looking for the, uh, the top cosmetic woman dentist um, in the country, and I was honored to be asked to participate in that show. Okay, you are one of 35 dentists uh, nationwide that are in a fellowship program for that AACD. Right. What is that? The American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry is the, um, the most prominent cosmetic dentistry organization in the country and there are tens of thousands of dentists that are members and they have a very strict accreditation program where you actually submit cosmetic cases that you have performed on your patients and they're reviewed by a panel of, of other cosmetic dentists and it is, um, it's a very thorough and, and very um, strict uh, process. And there are a pro less than 300 dentists in the world that are accredited. And then I am a, a step further than that, I'm a fellow. And there are, are less than 40 fellows in the, um, in the world. Now going into this, it seems pretty straightforward. Putting veneers on, making the teeth straight. Right. It's much more than that. It's much more obviously. than that. Obviously. The expectations of patients have really um, gotten to a much higher standard now where it's not just about applying the porcelain to the teeth, but it's actually about taking into account the patient's spatial features and their complexion, and it really is an art as far as getting an incredible result for the patients. You, you seem to attract people that want a natural looking smile. We do, we do. Um, most of my patients they want a beautiful smile, but they don't want it to look like they've had a lot of dentistry done. So, Who's your typical patient? I mean, what kind of patients do you see you know, for cosmetic stuff? Our typical patient is anyone who wants a beautiful smile. We, we see a lot of businessmen, we see soccer moms, we see professional women. Um, we see a lot of um, middle-aged rappers do. coming to see you. We do, we do. And, and we treat all of our patients the same. Um, because, you know, we want everyone to feel like a, a VIP in our But family. veneers are not just for rich and famous people anymore. They're not. A beautiful smile is available for everyone. Are you getting more younger people now? We are. 20-year-olds, 21-year-olds? Absolutely. We have a procedure called pearls where we actually don't even have to alter the teeth and we're able to apply porcelain on, on young people's um, teeth so that they can get a really nice 
um, result without having to alter their teeth at all, and we do a lot of those procedures. What about the older patient? Uh, and, and I guess 60 is young today, but what are the, what are the older age ranges for a veneers? Lot of, a lot of our patients in that age group have what we call middle-aged mouth, where they've had dentistry done over the years, so the dentistry doesn't really match in color or shape. And a lot of those patients come in and they are excited about the opportunity to once and for all do everything at the same time so it all matches and it looks like they're, they're back to their natural teeth again. Do you say it really changes people's lives? It absolutely changes their lives. Let, let, let me show you a few examples. Okay. This is one of my patients who um, had what we call a middle-aged mouth in that her smile just didn't do her justice. She has a flamboyant wonderful um, she personality. Like person. She is such a happy person and she um, didn't want to be self-conscious about her smile. What's going on there by the way? Like well, when you look at that as a dentist, what's what's happening? Well, some of the things that's going on is that she has, um, has some old dentistry that are different colors and different shapes and you can see how one tooth is longer than the other so it doesn't really follow the smile line. And what we did is we, oh boy. we in that dramatic, yes. we applied porcelain restorations and we took 10 years off of her smile. What else do you notice, Randy? Well, she looks more sophisticated in the after as well. In fact, if I saw those two walking down the street, I would think that the, the after photo is her younger sister. You know, that's, good. The that's great. When I, um, when I let her see her new smile, she gave me the biggest hug. She just was so happy. Do you ever get tears when they look at their All the smile time. for the first time? All the time. Is that right? It's common. Yes. It's, it's very emotional to go years through your life being self-conscious and hiding your smile behind your hand and to finally feel free to express yourself and smile with abandon. It's very emotional. Do you ever get choked up? I do. Depending on the patient yeah. situation, is that right? If you're just tuning in, we're in the reception area. We're talking with Dr. King, cosmetic dentist, and we're discussing how a smile can change your life. Okay, what are we looking at here? Well, let me show you another patient. This is a, a young businessman who, um, who wanted to have straight teeth without going through braces. And you can see that he had quite a few rotated teeth. Is this teeth. a person that hides his smile? Yes. Yes, we had to, to really force him to get, a, to get him to smile at all for the before photo. But look at, look at afterwards. Look how wow. straight the handsome teeth look. Handsome guy. Very handsome guy. Here's a guy whose teeth were no longer responding to the whitening. And um, there were still variations in the color of the enamel. And he was just ready to take it up to the next level. All right. And so we talked about different options. And he decided to do some porcelain restorations. And look at that. Look wow. how he... His whole personality. He's learned to style his hair differently he as has, well. He has. He has. It looks like a model. I mean, this looks like a dental clip art model. You're right. And he's one of Huge our patients. Huge difference. What is that? I mean, people, I mean, anybody watching this, in fact, you know, I take a look at this. This is what a smile can do. Because, you know, over the telephone, you're saying, Randy, it changes people's lives. And, and he'll obviously be perceived differently. Absolutely. Because of this. Now, I'm trying not to be on your side. You know, I always say yeah. we invite people on the show. In this case, we're going to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're just asking the questions. But I think that clearly this is good work. Randy, do I have time yes. for just a few more? This was a, a, a school teacher at the school nearby. And she actually grew up out, outside of the country. So she had some actual dental issues, not just aesthetic, but some some health um, issues with their teeth. And that's the nice thing about cosmetic dentistry is not only can we make the teeth healthy and restore, um, you know, take care of decay and other things, but we can make the smile beautiful at the same time. If you look closely, her, her teeth don't really follow the lower lip. And um, in any way, so we gave her different options, but we mostly wanted to take care of decay and, and make sure that the teeth were healthy. But at the same time, we were able to give her a beautiful white smile. And if you look at, look at the whites of her eyes, yes. that's the color that her teeth, are, that we like to see the teeth, because it's a color that's already in the palette of their face. And by giving them, uh, giving the patient teeth that are as white as the whites of their eyes, it just makes her Very look- pretty as beautiful and as young as she really is. And then um, one last case I wanted to show you, Randy, is another um, woman who wanted her teeth to look straight and white. And look at the difference here in going from, um, you know, just teeth that weren't really representing who she was. And then look how natural she looks and how happy. You know, they look like models. 
after. Uh, and see, these all are you do just, is change their teeth and they look like models. These are just normal, everyday patients. Well, thank you. Thank you. Very good. We're going to meet some of your patients, and thanks for allowing our cameras here. In this, in this beautiful center. You're watching The Wellness Hour. We're on location today. Uh, if you are unhappy with your smile, you have to watch this next segment. We'll be right back. As a recruiter, helping individuals find new places uh, of employment, opportunities that they may or may not be able to get without my help, one of the first things that I look at as I'm interviewing candidates before I put them in front of my clients is their personal presentation. And by far, a winning smile can win the day. And yeah. absolutely, absolutely. It, it's, uh, it goes back to, are you taking care of yourself? Do you take care of yourself? And uh, you know, if you don't take care of yourself, then why should I trust you to take care of me? And in my line of work, being finance and accounting recruiting, it's, do I trust this person to take care of my books? and you know and the money of my corporation I was even though I didn't think I had a bad smile I was ha, have been self-conscious about my smile and I, I think that uh, being in my line of work it's important to to uh, invest in yourself because if if you if you don't take care of yourself then why should somebody buy from me and think that I'm gonna take care of them you think it gives you more credibility credibility confidence uh, it gives me uh, an opportunity to um, grow as an individual, to to not be self-conscious, to get out and explore and, and take shots and not worry about um, you know how people are going to perceive me. As far as individuals or people who are afraid to go to the dentist, I have not experienced this level of service with the other dentists. They were perfectly qualified. But they, the work that they do here, compared to what I had done, because I had caps before I came in here, I had had work done, I had had veneers done, it just doesn't compare, does not compare. What are some of the motivations that you hear on a consult for why they want to change their smile? You know, there are so many um, reasons people will come and get their smile done. It could be. Uh, they're getting married or could be getting divorced and they want to have a new start in life. Right. It could be a celebration that they've um, put their kids through school and now it's time to spend money on themselves. Do you find that people have a tough time doing nice things for themselves? A lot of times they do. They, um, you know, especially women. I think women have that tendency to to take care of everyone and nurture everyone and sometimes they're hesitant to to take care of themselves. Now, you know, another thing we talked about on the phone that you see women today, a lot of people with the facelifts, they take care of their skin, their nails, they've got the fancy car, the great bag, and ever since our conversation, I look at teeth, and you do. Sometimes you see these old teeth. What do you say to these, these people? Maybe they don't think it's that important. I say you, that a smile is the ultimate accessory. Is that right? I do. I think that the smile is something that you have with you every single day where your, your Gucci bag you can only wear with a few, few different outfits, but your smile is with you 24 hours, seven days a week, and, um, and it really is, um, is something that doesn't, doesn't grow old. Take me through the process. A patient comes in on day one, how much say so do they have in what their teeth are going to look like? Every patient that comes in, we actually sit down and do a, a, a thorough interview with them to find out what are their desires, what are they thinking they'd like to accomplish, what are their goals. And from there, I'll sit down with them and just walk them through the options because some people just want a minor change and some people want a, an entire overhaul. So it's very important for us to have a good communication process so that I can give them options depending on what their goals are. Now, what are you doing? You're showing them smile. Samples? Are you showing Well, we computer? start out taking um, photographs of every patient from every angle. We take um, X, digital x-rays and we do a very thorough examination. And then I'll come in and just sit down side by side with them and usually I'll just ask them, you know, here I've got some ideas, I've already looked at your photographs, would you like to hear the ideas? And, okay. and So I'll just sit down and like, here are the things that I see. Um, these are the things that I'd like to, to redesign. This is what I think we can accomplish. 
and just ask them questions on so that we can come up with a smile design that's perfect for them. How long does the process take and does it hurt? Two good questions. Now the process, how long the process takes, if there's some individuality, you know, so everyone's not the same, but for the most part, most of our smile designs can be done start to finish in two all morning appointments within 30 days. So, 30 days so in 30 days you can have, um, have your smile in most cases. What are misconceptions out there about veneers? Well, um, you know, sometimes people will ask, you know, what is there, is it going to hurt? What, what is the process there? And usually it depends on the condition of the teeth before we get started. But for the most part, there is not pain. We sedate our patients so that they can be comfortable throughout the entire procedure. Pain is really not something that the patients complain about. And when they leave the very first day, they leave with a beautiful smile. So they get instant gratification. They can start enjoying their, their smile that very first day. Well, today was about cosmetic dentistry, what you need to know. I think one of the things, as a recap, uh, the, the, the two main things that you need to ask your doctor if you're considering cosmetic dentistry is, what type of training they had after dental school when it comes to cosmetic training. Did they have a weekend course or did they have hundreds of hours like the doctors we talked to today? The other thing is you gotta look at the before and after pictures. Are they artists? Uh, do they have an eye for this? And we learned today that some people have an eye for it and they have it. We try not to endorse doctors on the show, but I will tell you of all the offices, especially dental offices that we have visited nationwide, this is the most impressive and these doctors work is by far a cut above anything we've ever seen. My name is Randy Alvarez. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. There's a new secret to looking younger, an advancement so profound, it took a team of scientists years to create. A time machine called Zoom. Getting Zoomed is the fastest way to erase years from your looks. Zoom is the most advanced teeth whitening ever. Only your dentist has it. Nothing works like it. Zoom gel gently penetrates the submicron pores of tooth enamel. The patented Zoom Light super activates the gel through a unique photofenton reaction, breaking down the stain's double bonds. In just 45 minutes, years of discoloration disappear, transforming your smile to wow. To find a Zoom dentist near you, go to zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895. For your whitest, most confident, most irresistible smile, get Zoomed today. Make your appointment at zoomnow.com or call 800-891-4895 today and discover the wow of